We've rounded up the most ridiculous PSAs on the internet. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. The PSA, the public service announcement. Uh, these were really big when we were kids. They still make them, but there's just something special about the way it used to be done. Yeah, I mean, it's basically a commercial against things that everyone should be against, uh, that the public is, I think, into funding. I don't know, it's not like there's a product behind it. Somebody's funding these. But the thing about them is how they became an art form in and of themselves, oh, yeah. that now that we have taken a trip down the wormhole of PSAs and come out the other side, we're bringing it's to very you- slippery presentation, uh, some of our favorite PSAs from the past. Now, little disclaimer, do I even have to say this, guys? You do, the, the it's things, the internet. The things that these PSAs are against, like anti-smoking, anti-drug use. Well, they're not use. against anti-smoking, they're against yeah. smoking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't do the, the double negative. Against, smoking, drug use, other things that we're gonna be walking you through here. All bad stuff. And we agree that they are bad things, but, we question the creative decisions behind the artistry, okay? Hopefully of that's the PSAs. Clear. Uh, and let's just make that clear by showing you the first one. A Star Wars anti-smoking campaign from the 80s. Star 2, where are you? So first of all, this is R2? legit. Yeah, this is actually C3PO. They got the real dude. There's some smoke. You're on fire. No, you're just R2 holding a cigarette. Found a cigarette. That's, well, a, guilt, that's a guilty, it's grown up guilty, guilty look. <laughs> now, in fairness, he's not smoking. smoking does he was smoking. Your he's just holding. It's very bad for your heart. Well, I know I don't have one, but humans do, and I think we should set a good example. Well done, R2. That's a good example. Oh. Hello. Just drop it. <laughs> if you ever, if you ever decide not to and smoke, it isn't grown up at all. So please, don't smoke. Please don't smoke. You know, personally, I think R two D two should be able to smoke all he wants. He's a robot. Yeah, like what? they, like they said in the thing, he doesn't have a heart or a lung. So, <laughs> or a lungs. Said, just he, they just want. C C three PO wants him to be a good example. Okay, I get it. I do get that right? for the kids. So just throw your cigarette down anywhere you want. Uh, and speaking of uh, cigarettes, sometimes they're known to start forest fires, and that's why we Segway. have this nineteen seventies PSA for forest fire prevention. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet. You do. A place where animals play. I'm listening. It's called the forest. Yep. But every year we start forest fires. Yeah. It's got Careless some fire match your cigarette and poof. Fire. Fire. So the next time By the way she says, forest, poof. She's looking at my soul. Careful. Okay. What? 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 <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? If you knew it was me, would you have listened? It, so it goes from a real looking woman. I wouldn't that, have listened as hard. <laughs> that, no, that's supposed to be a mask to obviously like a very low budget mascot version of Smokey the Bear. <laughs> they, it's like they got it backwards. Well, and look at this link. I'm gonna pause this mask for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just 20, like a, 21 seconds into this thing, they obviously got a horrible mask, but you see that for a split second and it's freaky. I did see it. <laughs> but I mean, this was so well conceptualized in every other way. I mean, first of all, the woman. Well, casting of the woman, great. great. casting, I'm into that. Uh, I'm into Smokey the Bear. I, I I like puppets. You know, I like who who doesn't like Smokey the Bear? But why, why do you have to do the witch face transition? It could have just been her I big don't, red hair and boom, there's Smokey the Bear. I think I would even rhymes. I would like to see this one come back. I mean, I think they should redo this PSA. Well, what woman would you get to play keep, this? Keep the woman. Oh. Keep How, that one. She was perfect. You keep the don't bring her back out like, of hiding. No, use this exact no, footage. Not the aged version of her, like okay. twenty years later. I want to use that footage of her, but I want to replace the mask, and I want to. I think I want to update Smokey the CGI Bear. CGI Smokey. I mean, I, I don't think I'm going out on a, a burning limb here to say that the mascot Whoop. costume was a little dated. Okay, well, a little uh, to scraggly. bring things uh, bring things from the '70s to a little bit more recent, uh, still a little old school. This was this was an in sync 
anti-drug campaign from the late 90s to the early 2000s. We're talking the peak of NSYNC's popularity, Link. Okay. Here we go, do it again. Are we rolling? Woo! It's I like funky. That. Looking at. I'm into basketball. Yeah. My family. Hmm. You know the game with the little plastic hand puppets? Get their Super hair. Nice swimming. Justin! So much pride. No, Justin! No, it's Justin! Justin! Art. Actually, Justin didn't have anything in his hair. He was a buzz nice. cut man. Yeah. Plastic. Girls like Justin. I'm into acting. Why the? I'm into scary movies. The hormones that this thing churned, you, fling them, you, you know, you, are immeasurable. I, mm -hmm. I can smell the pheromones. Stupid. This isn't fast paced enough like for me. Green ones. Uh, yeah, not enough color for me. There's like the uh, music. 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 It's music. really just like music. the same three okay, girls guys, the whole these time. These are our anti drugs. What's your anti-drug? Oh, what's your anti-drug? Those were theirs. I remember that campaign. Yeah. Definitely remember it. I don't remember that exact commercial. Oh. Wings, the little stinky wings. Oh. He remembered. I, I don't know if you're it's a game. I don't know if you were paying attention. I was. Uh, these are the things that NSYNC listed as their anti-drug. This is the kind of thing that NSYNC was into at the peak of their popularity. Just keep that context yes. in mind. Complete list. Basketball. Family. Hand puppets. Synchronized swimming. Art, specifically Baroque minimalism, mm -hmm. acting, fighting evil. That was the Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys were evil. Ooh. Yeah. Had to fight them. Scary movies, mind reading, dancing, music, and Stinky Wings. Stinky Wings. Who knew that the NSYNC anti drugs totally match up with all of my hobbies 100%? Yeah. What are the chances? I'm pretty scared right now. Okay, going back to the old school in the 70s, this is another anti-drug uh, PSA. Oh yeah, Star Wars made their K PSA, so you know Star Trek's gotta get in on get it in too. Get on it. Oh. Kind of a slow start. Log of the Starship Enterprise, star date 59.43. Whoa, calm 7. down, Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk. <laughs> now that is Mr. actually, Spock is ready to patch uh, up. Go ahead, Mr. Spock. What's his name? I'm on the surface William of the destroyed William Shatner. barbarian planet now. And that's Captain. actually Nimoy. Destroyed? What do you see, Mr. Spock? The surviving inhabitants are in a dreadful condition. It seems they can't control their limbs. And they're underwater. And their minds are dull hmm. and useless. I think those are holograms. Spock, sorry to tell you. They seem to be in a state identical to that curious 20th century Earth disease called hard drug abuse. Hmm. I suspect it has destroyed all meaningful yeah. life HDA. on this wretched planet. A tragic find, Mr. Spock. As a Vulcan, I find the need for hard drugs to be totally illogical. Hmm. But as a half-human Spock, surely you can appreciate the suffering that hard drug abuse causes. Certainly. We can only hope that other civilizations will not make the same mistake. Boy, that one almost put me to sleep. It was like, they need to up the energy level a little bit. It was almost like, because you didn't, you didn't realize this too, that that was actually William Shatner and Leonard yeah. Nimoy who did, they, they did the voices for the animated series, but I have to think that they didn't think that this was the final cut. I mean, it's like, they are suffering from the disease known as hard drug abuse. Well, it's it kind of like, like they were just phoning it in. Completely, like maybe like, it was actually done on a phone. Like literally. Is this what you want me to say? In. The curious 20th century earth disease called hard drug abuse. It's got a ring to it. Uh, let's bring the energy back a little bit. Uh, <laughs> thanks to G.I. Joe, the real American hero. My favorite PSAs of all time. They would tack these on the end of G.I. Joe animated uh, episodes. Yeah. So, we, and we've got two G.I. Oh, Joe yeah. ones. And these are about uh, a little bit more obscure things, including not swimming during a thunderstorm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm staying. I'm not a scaredy cat. No, but you could be a dead cat. He's, He's just hiding in the pond. The Look at the size of that hand. <laughs> is that normal? And even the hint of a thunderstorm get right out of the water. Thanks. Your advice is electrifying. Wow. If this happens again, Look at the hand. To do. It's there again. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Look, I have chills. I get the chills from the G.I. Joe PSAs. I mean, that's my childhood, man. Well, look at that. But I'm gonna have to- Look, I, I, sustained I see chills. It. We, could, we don't have a close-up cam today. And that might be, the, might be the lightning. But think about it for a second. Deep Six, that's his name. Hiding he in was, the pond. He was in the pond. 
while the thunderstorm was happening. Couldn't he have been on the shore and be like, hey guys, get out of there. But he's like, no, I'm in here with you. Well, he's got now this, let's get out. And he's got the suit, which You don't know that suit's gonna protect him. Those big hands are gonna be okay though, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> All right, so I'm give me the second tell one. You right now. I want some more chills. This one's about stranger danger. Your mom uh, had an accident. <laughs> I'll uh, take you to her. <laughs> Look, Wild Bill. Oh, gosh. Who was that? Some stranger. He said Donnie's mom the was there. Acting hurt. is so good. I didn't know if I should go with him. Well, just don't do what a stranger says. Check it out with an adult you know. Yeah. Remember, a stranger can mean danger. Now I know. Uh -huh. And knowing is half the battle. Yep. Is he on like a trike? Like a spider? Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, yeah, don't listen to strangers, but definitely listen to the dude with the big sunglasses and the weird mustache. On the on the trike. Yeah, do anything that guy says when he pulls up to you on the street in a three-wheeled motorcycle. Well, first of all, the stranger was so not committed to his story. He's like, yeah. your mom um, had a uh, accident. accident. Your mom uh, had an accident. I'll uh, take you to her. You gotta be like, your mom had an accident. You gotta, you gotta believe you gotta it yourself, it better dude. Than that. If you wanna, if you wanna be a good stranger, you gotta get your story straight. You can't just improv it on the fly. And of course, if you wanna be a good father, you've got to listen to Godzilla. Oh, who is that? <laughs> That's baby Godzilla, man. What does mama look like? The Michelin tire woman? <laughs> or the Stay Puft marshmallow woman? <laughs> Oh, he can only blow smoke rings. But it doesn't matter, because- You don't need to be bigger than life to be a good dad. You just need to spend time with your kids. Spend time with your kids. Is this a is this a pro-smoking ad? <laughs> is, is that what's happening here? If your kid looks like this, you're gonna have to smoke to get through it. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, it's like, hey kid, this is how you blow a smoke ring. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, that got kids everywhere smoking. <laughs> got dads to be great fathers, but kids everywhere started smoking. And finally, uh, this is uh, a children's health PSA. Go for a Gopher cakes. Just one stack is what it takes, and it's gopher, gopher, gopher Stack them, eat them, and recline, and pour. Put them in a blender. Good gopher shit. That kid is zonked out on gopher cakes. Exercised lately. I mean, that song. Exercise lately. Till you explode. Give me some gopher cakes, I man. want gopher cakes. <laughs> that, that was just a commercial for gopher cakes. Yeah, I get And them. I want some. I want them, like, delivered to my door every month, man. I've got a recliner. I've got a, a mixer. <laughs> a mixer. I really hope that somebody smart out there capitalized on this and started selling gopher cakes. Because <laughs> yeah, that's what like, I would have done. They already made my commercial for me. <laughs> Kids love gopher cakes that's, and don't care about the consequences. That's pretty good. They'll eat them. Night and day. Feel free to reminisce in the comments. What is your favorite P P P P P P P P P P P P S A? I learned it from watching you. This is your egg on drugs. This is your brain on eggs. How did it go? I remember that one. Thanks for liking and commenting on this video. You know what time it is. I'm Vincent from Yukon, Oklahoma, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. If you want your feet to disappear into the forest, we can help make that happen. And by the way, you can just look cool. That happens too when you wear yeah. a camo mythical shoe. You can get the 2.0, you can also get the socks and the hat, the matching hat. Click on retlink.com slash store, the shoes, That's hat, and socks. shoe, I'm wearing it. I gotta, I gotta Click through to Good Mythical More, an amazing fireworks safety PSA. You have to watch it in its entirety along with us. Arm resettle. This was actually submitted to us. We think they me meant arm wrestle, but we're gonna go. Hey man, with I challenge you to a arm wrestling match. You mean an arm resettle? Yeah, arm resettle. Just, oh, yeah, what? Just, just resettle, man. It's, it's in a D good. No, just resettle. Well, it's in a good spot. Now let's resettle. It's, I mean, yeah. that feels good too. Yeah, resettle. Okay. Resettle. Okay. I think I win. Oh no, girl. No, oh, no, girl. no, 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 up. Oh. She wants it. She's got it. She's running. Oh, well, she deserves it to, something to happen to her. About to lose being that stupid. Half, oh, oh, preventer! The preventer! 